how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com bringing you yet another Iron Maiden classic from the Seven Son of a Seven Son album, The Prophecy. I've actually not seen anybody cover this as a lesson, so hopefully I'm the first one out there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if you do find this lesson useful, sure you will do, uh, please click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell and that way you'll be notified whenever I release any more of my video lessons on my YouTube channel. Well, enough of me talking. <clears throat> Let's get straight into it and let me show you how to play The Prophecy by Iron Maiden. So don't go away. Preview. Okay, let's have a look at that old little opening section. Uh, I'll just play it through and then we'll break it down. So we start off with a shape here that we're playing, which is a first fret on 7E. Uh, I've got my fourth finger, little finger on 10B, and I've got my third finger on 9G. And I'm going to play G string, E string, B, G, E. And I'm going to move that whole shape down so my first finger is on the third fret, little finger is on six, and my third finger is on five. And we play that as a to strum that chord down. So what I'm getting here is, and then I play E, B, G, E, B, G strings. Then I lift my third finger, replace it with my second finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and I'm playing the same line when I'm doing G, E, B, G, E. So I get, and then I do a, uh, a triple stop, I'm going to call it. I'm just holding down the fifth fret on the G, B, and E. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be doing E string, B, G, E, G, B, G. And then we go back and repeat. Now, it repeats that numerous times. It starts off by itself, and then the lead guitar gets played over the top of that, just keeps on cycling through all over this lead line that we're gonna look at next. So, let's change the guitars, because we know we're gonna go on to an overdrive sound. So, what we're doing there, we got a full tone bend on 15th fret on the B string. Crossing over to 12th fret on the high E. Going to 13th fret on the high E. Back to the 15 on the B string. 12 on the high E. Playing 13 on the B, followed by a full tone bend. And we hold that. That's your first line. Next one, let me play it through. So what we're doing on there, we got the 13 that we was holding, but we're gonna go back down and then do another full tone bend on that. Crossing to 10, to 12 on the high E. 13 on the B. Back to, tw uh, back to 10. We do 12 on the B. Finishing on 10B. So we get. And then we repeat. And again, that just cycles around backwards and forwards over that clean guitar section. And from there, we go to the opening riff. So. 
Let's me play it through and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So we start off on 10D, then we've got G7 twice, and then G9, G10, B8, G10, G9, G7, G7 again, 9 on the G, G10, G9, and then we have got D10. We go to D7, back to G8. 7 twice, to G9, 10, 8 on the B, 10, 9, and then 7 on the G string, going to 10 on the D, to 7, and then we cross over and do we, do we do a G10, B10, and then back to the G10. So far we've got this. Back onto that G. So now we go back from there, we are playing the 7, twice on G, G9, G10, B8, G10, G9, G7 twice, G9, G10, G9, D10, D7, G7 twice, G9, 10, B8, back to G10, G9, G7, D10, G7, and then to finish, we're going to go back and we're going to play this G10, B10, and finishing up on the G10. Right, let's just check out the verses. Uh, I'll play it on power chords. So I'll just play it through and then we'll break it down. Here's the first part. So what I'm doing there, I'm starting off on a D5. So I'm on 5th fret on the A string and 7th fret on the D string. And I'm playing this. So I'm playing the chord. And then I play the note three times, and then I've got the chord three times. So that's your rhythm, that's the rhythm you're going to be playing through all of these chords. So we get this. Then I move down to a C5, so I'm moving down two frets. And then I move down to a G5, so I'm switching strings, and I'm playing E string three, and I'm playing A string five. Now, I go down to this B flat, which is on the A string first fret and D string third fret, and I'm breaking the bar up so I get this. So I'm playing the chord. And then I've got the three ones. And then I move up and I play the C5 again. And I play that. So we got this, this last bar with the B flat. Just splitting the bar down. And then we go back and we repeat. And we do that twice, okay? So that's right. And from there, we then move up and everything shifts up two frets. So we go up to this E5. Uh, and uh, let me play that through. We get this. So we get that now, everything is exactly the same but moved up. So we've got this E5, 
Then to the D5 on five, uh, five fret. Then we cross down to an A5, so we're on five fret and seven fret, to five fret on the E string. And then this time we're doing uh, the C5 on third fret, moving up to the D5. And we played that sequence twice. So now let's look at the next section of this first part. So we start off and we're doing an A5 and we play that and then we got the A string three times and then back to the A. And then we're going to play this uh, B5 to a C5, open A string, back to the B5, so we get, and then we're going to go up to the C5, and then back to that A, so, So you play that four times and then we play this. So when I'm doing that, I'm playing this E flat. Uh, so I'm playing this. Uh, then I move down to fourth fret on the low E string. And again, I play the same rhythm. Move to four on the A, so I'm playing this uh, D flat. Move down to first fret on the A string, so we say I've got a B flat, and I play that line, same rhythm. And then repeat that whole sequence again. So let me show you what happens on the third time round. On the third time round, once we've gone to that B flat, we go on for two bars on this D flat. And then we go on for two bars down on the B flat. So now let's look at the next guitar riff. Then we start off on B12 to G14. G12, G11, then we go back, G12, G11, and G12. That's your first part. Then we do D14, do two of them, do 11G and 12G. And then we go back to the D14, D12, D14. Back to G12 and D14. And we repeat that a second time. Then we've got this next section. So let's look at the next riff and I'll play it through and then I'll break it down. Right, so we start off very similar to the rest we played before in this song, uh, back in the same key position around this G, uh, 7, 9 and 10. So we start off uh, with two 7s on the G, then we do that 9 on the G, that 10 on the G, back to 9, 7, crossing over to 10 on the D, and then back to 7. So we get this. Next one again, very, very similar, uh, but this time we start off on the seven on the D, so we get this. Seven, two sevens on the G, and then we've got the nine, ten, nine, then back to seven, then we do ten on the D, and then seven on the D, so we get.
And the next one, we start off on this seven on the D. Two sevens. And then we've got this nine. And then we do two on the 10. And then we cross over to the B8. And then back to the G string and we do 10, seven. And then we've got this 10, 10, 9, and then back 10, 9 again to 7. And then we've got a 7 on the D. And then we have got 10 on the A, and then 10 on the D, and 10, sorry, 7 on the D, and 7 on the G. And then we repeat the whole line all over again. So I'm going to play it through very, very slowly. And then we are in to the guitar solo. Now we'll be covering the guitar solo on a future lesson. Once we've completed that, we go back into another one of them verses. And then we got the, uh, and we play through that whole section that we've covered before, all the way through. And then we go back into another riff section that's again very, very similar to what we've just played here. So I'll play it through and then I'll break it down. So again, very, very similar. We start off on again the two sevens on the G. Then we do this nine on the G, 10 on the G. And then we cross over to eight on the B. And then we do a 10 on the B. So we get, and from there we go back to 10 on the G. And then we start off again on two sevens on the G. Nine and 10, cross over to eight on the B, and then we go back to 10 on the G, and then nine on the G, and back to seven. So we get... And he plays that through four times. At the end of that, then we go back to the clean acoustic classic guitar. So we switch back to the acoustic guitar for the closing section. Now there's two guitars on this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play through the first section, which is kind of the background section of this. So uh, just play it through and then I'll show you how to play it. Okay, everything is based around in this early section on a D minor chord. So we've got a standard D minor chord, which is first finger, first fret on the high E, third finger, third fret on the B, and second finger, second fret on the G. And I'm just going down uh, and up. So I'm doing D, G, B, E, B, G, and re so I get this. Then I put my little finger on third fret on the uh, D string and do the same pattern. And then what I do now, I do a double stop with my second finger, so I'm holding then two on the D and then again the two on the G. Take that back to the normal D minor position, so it's open D string. And then I start all over again. go to an F chord using the same strings and I 
do a B flat, so I'm holding down first finger on first fret on the A string, and I'm double, and I'm holding down my little finger 3D, 3G, and 3B because I'm going to play A D G B G D. I'm going to do that twice. Then I go back to my D minor once. Now I put my little finger on 3rd fret on the A string and then I go back to my standard D minor for two more bars. So that is the first guitar in this closing section. Now let's have a look what the second guitar is playing over the top of that. So let me just play this final part and then I'll break it down. So it starts off very similar to the wrist that we played on the distorted guitar. Um, <clears throat> so we start off on this G7. So we're just going up from 7, 9 to 10. 7, 9, 10 on the G. And then we do an A, 8 to 10. Then we do a 10 again. Back to 8. Cross to the G and do 10, 9. And then we go back to the B8, and then we do a 10, 9, 10. Now we've got this little kind of triplet, which is 9, 10, 9, sliding down to 7, and then to 6. Put that all together. part we're going to start on 10 on the B and we're going to go 10 11 13 so we get this 10 11 13 13 again 11 13 crossover to 10 E now next part We get this 10, 13, back to 10, to 8, to 10, and then we got a little hammer on pull up to 6. Then we've got a series of hammer ons and pull ups descending down the fretboard. First one is 8, and then 6, 8 to 5. And then we've got six, five, six to three. And then we've got five, and then three, five to one. Open string, and then a D. So that last part. And that takes us to the end of the song. All of the parts have been covered. I am going to include the tablature that I've been working through so you'll be able to follow each section. Also look at the dual harmony guitars. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, if you found it useful, don't forget, click on that subscribe button, click on the bell, and then you'll be notified as soon as I post any new songs to my YouTube channel. Well, it's been great to see you again, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. Until then, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com, wishing you well. See you again.
，拜拜。